Well, hello! It's me with my my f fuzzy beard. I'm getting lots of beard hairs that are not listening to me. I say, stay in line, and they're like, we're going to do whatever we want, mister. I'm not going to lie to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Facebook friends, hello. Hello, Facebook friends, hello. It's time to be silly and start the show. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Wow, let's let some people join us. And uh, yeah, well, Caroline, Caroline is tuned in. Thank you so much for the hats. She's the one that made me the... She didn't make me this hat. That'd be really cool. If you could make hats like this, that'd be neat. I guess somebody has to make the hats like this. But, oh, she's made me my um, some of my hats for nighttime nightcaps. And she made one that is so awesome uh, that I'm going to show it to you. Well, she, both of them are awesome, but the one I want to show to you, I'm waiting to get a good book to read it. Hello from Hannah. Good morning. My Leia and Trayden is in video school. Wow, that's cool. Well, trade and maybe you can see this later. Eedily, Angela and Sean, it's good to see you here. Oh my goodness. I have uh, was outside and it, it was outside doing some stuff today and it started snowing in Winnipeg again. Yesterday, it was crazy. It was like all the seasons in one. There was, there was some snow and there was some, uh, like a lot of snow, like a big snowstorm. And then uh, there was a... Um, uh, and then it, I came out of the, the store that I had to go get some groceries, came out of Sobeys, and it was sunny. It was like sunny, and then it rained a little bit. It was just like, hey, here's what we're going to do in Winnipeg, you know. Hey, the weather guy's like, you know what, I, I got to, what's this guy I'll do? Hey, that's what it was like. Oh, Miss Christie's here. Hey, Miss Christie. <laughs> it was like the it was like the weatherman went, hey, what, what's this guy I'll do? It was like snow, rain, sunshine, snow, rain, sunshine. <laughs> The weirdest rain. Hey, April, how are you? My friend April's there. Hey, April has got all kinds of cool costumes. Cheyenne and Brooklyn. The weirdest. Uh, Ginger Bella. Hey. Um, the weirdest uh, uh, storm I was ever in was in Vancouver a number of years ago. My buddy Erwin Barker, who is uh, one of the funniest comedians in the world, to be honest with you. And uh, we were walking down in Vancouver, and it was snowing and lightning. It was just... I've seen that in Winnipeg. Oh, thunder snow. Yeah. Thunder snow. Yeah, th thunder snow. That sounds like a, that could be my new stage name, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage. He is from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. That would be my that would be my wrestling name, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Grab a snow cone and enjoy the show. Please welcome into the ring, weighing two hundred and seventy four and three quarter pounds. He hails from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Thunder snow! Oh, oh, and I'd walk in. Snow, snow, snow. Mm -hmm. yes. I could do that. Yep. I could be a wrestler. Yep. Except for I'm not in shape and I don't know how to wrestle. Well, I wrestled in high school. Yeah. I did. I came in. I did really well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. In this corner, thunder snow. That's right. In this corner, that's what Ginger wrote. In this corner, thunder snow taz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write that down because we're gonna forget it. Thunder snow. I'm gonna have to make a. That's, that'd be a name for a good book, right? Yeah. Thunder snow. Don't you know it's thunder snow? Where are we gonna go? It's thunder snow. Na 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 thunder snow. That's what I do. I would get. Four grandmothers to stand right in front of me and be like, na 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 thunder snow. Oh, because nanas are grandmas. And then you call them. I'm getting kicks. I'm getting lots of kicks. I was just waiting for Rod to show up. Rob is here and Dusty's here, so now I can start. It's been four minutes. I don't deserve 14 kicks. I bet you some of those kicks weren't from, from, um, just from being there. Oh, I feel like being silly today because you know what? I'm awake. Jackson. Hey, Jackson, guess what? I am going to read my buddy Jackson with an X in the middle. Jackson. That's how you have to say his name. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, facing Thunder Snow Taz, weighing in at uh, whatever a boy would weigh in at, I'm not too sure, 44 tons. I'm not very good at measuring. Here he is. It's Jackson. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe I won't make sourdough pancakes. Oh, yeah. I had sourdough pancakes for breakfast, and apparently... <laughs> hey, Justin, I had sourdough pancakes. Miss Christy made really good sourdough pancakes. And guess what? 
I was eating my pancake, and there was a heart made out of peanut butter, and I didn't do it, and Miss Chrissy didn't do it, and Wee Beast didn't do it. It just formed by itself. So somebody out there in the universe was thinking, it's heart time for Tazzy. Yes, Mr. Dean Sabo, silly is good. <laughs> I love how Miss Christie is just a voice and a waving hand occasionally. She's way more than that. Sometimes she's a poking hand. Like, stop it, stop it, stop it. Sometimes she's, oh, sometimes she's the eye roll queen. She's like, <laughs> Kenny Robinson, my big brother, is watching. That's cool. So I'm going to read two books. Um, two books. I'm, I haven't mastered these books because I uh, didn't read them very well. So here is The Not-So-Perfect Penguin. Nana Carmen's going to like this. Not-So-Perfect Penguin and Dean Sabo. Sit down. Sit down and relax there, buddy. Because I have another penguin book called The Duckling Gets a Cookie? <laughs> I you read this quickly? I love these penguin books. So, and I think both of, Jackson, you lent me both of these books. Well, that's awesome. I'm going to, uh, so those of you that have lent me books, thank you so very much. And those of you that have given me donations um, through uh, e-transfers and stuff, thank you so much. And some people have sent in uh, some um, Amazon cards and things like that. Thank you so much because I'm kind of running out of books uh, to read. So this is great. And then the books that I buy, I'm going to donate to, um, I'm going to keep a few of them so they can read to kids during I Love to Read Month, which is February, but I think it should be every every month. Hey, Danica. And um, I think that uh, what we'll do is we'll either maybe have some sort of contest where I can give some of the books away, maybe, and or we'll donate them to uh, some school program. Yes, Ginger said, and Miss Christie is a kicker, and that's the 37th, uh, 100th kick. Uh, she's reminding me because today we have a birthday. You know what you can do with this? Watch this. Oh, get the... oh, maybe not. I thought I could do this. Probably I should practice this and just do it in my... Here we go. No, it's nothing. You can't do anything with this. It's not an instrument. I did learn a moose call. You want to see? Watch this. Hey, hang, hey, on, hang on, hey, hang on, hang on. Just a Come second. On. Just a second. I want to show you this. They taught me this up north. Two hunters taught me this moose call. Ready? You put your thumbs like this and you hook them in together. You got the one down like this and then you got to curl. You got to curl and pull. It hurts a little bit, but you got to pull this thumb in like this and you turn this one so it's almost all the way around. Fingers like this, these ones in, and this one goes in to help make the noise and you go like this, right? And you push it in and pull tight so that your arm, your hands, see how my hand's turning red? This, this one here has to make the noise. And you go like this. <clears throat> Here, moosey, 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 moosey. Here, moosey, 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 moosey. Moosey, moosey, moosey. Moosey, moosey, moosey. Here, moosey. So it's a moose call. Read your book. I'm reading my book. Oh, I can't. I got to sing happy birthday to Cicely first. Oh, she's so bossy, but I love her. Theo Flurry, you've tuned in. You are one of my favorite people in the entire world. Oh, so we're going to sing happy birthday to Cicely. It's Cicely's birthday. She's four. So one, two, three, four. Mm, 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 mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cicely. Happy birthday to you. It's a special birthday. Four, 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 four. Happy. Birthday. Ciao. There. See, that was worth the wait. Miss Christie would like me to read, so I'm going to read. Here, I'll put that over there. Thundersnow. My name is Thundersnow. The not-so-perfect penguin. As read to you by a dyslexic man, Taz. Oh, it's written by Steve Smallman. Steve Smallman. The not-so-perfect penguin. And this is brought to you by the letter P. Please use the letter P at least twice a day. <laughs> and then wash your hands. This book is uh, from New Burlington Books. So thank you very much, New Burlington Books. If you'd like to buy this book, get a hold of New Burlington Books. The old Burlington Books might not have this, but the new Burlington Books uh, has it. So thank you for letting me read this to the kids. Kateri, your birthday's in one week. Patience. Patience. It's hard to have when your birthday is in one week, isn't it? Yes, I'm thinking so. <clears throat> Get the silly out and reading face.
Uh oh, that's grumpy face. Reading. There we go, reading face. On a snowy and blowy island in the middle of the sea, there lived a group of perfect penguins. They were smart and serious and sensible. All except for Percy. Percy was, well, well, not so perfect. The other penguins, you know, they like to eat their dinner sensibly. But Percy always played with his food. Eat nicely, Percy, said the biggest penguin. While the other penguins waddled along seriously, Percy slid on his tummy. Be careful, Percy, the oldest person or the oldest penguin grumbled, because she was Catherine Hepburn. You be very careful, Percy, you silly poop. The other penguins swam smoothly through the water, catching lots of fish. But Percy liked to jump and play and do somersaults, landing with a big splash. Look out, Percy! The youngest, or the smallest penguin said, You silly penguin! No, oh, look how happy he is. Splash! When it was really cold, all the penguins huddled together, and Percy felt warm and safe in the middle of the group. But, uh, then, oh dear, he needed to fart. Ew, Percy, the penguin said. You smelly penguin. It's, oh, my goodness. Is that fish? I smell f uh, fish. You, Percy, a uh, gross man. And they went and stood away from Percy. Percy waddled away sadly. My friends think I'm silly and smelly and I'll never be perfect like them. Percy's sad. The snow fell harder and the wind blew stronger. It's cold on my own, said Percy, shivering. Percy made himself a new friend from snow and ice, but the snow penguin wasn't very warm to cuddle with. Without Percy, the penguins ate their dinner sensibly. It's so quiet, said the oldest penguin. They swam seriously without splashing. It's a rather dull the biggest penguin said. They waddled along in a straight line. It's a bit boring, said the fluffiest penguin. I wish Percy were here, the smallest penguin said. What will happen to Percy, the oldest penguin said. He's all alone in the freezing cold. The penguins began to worry. So they waddled off through the swirling snow looking for Percy. Percy! Percy, where are you? Percy! Hey, Percy, where are you? Percy! I can't find Percy! My feet hurt. In an icy cave, they found two snow penguins. One had lost his beak, but the other looked familiar. It was Percy! All the penguins gathered round and cuddled him. Slowly, slowly, the snow began to melt. Drip, drip, drip. When Percy's flippers were free of snow, 
He stretched and then tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> All the penguins fell down laughing. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, Percy, the smallest penguin giggled. It's so good to have you back. Surrounded by happy penguins, Percy felt that maybe he didn't need to be perfect at all. His friends loved him just the way he was. <laughs> that's what we were, that's what we talked about before in many different of these sort of, I don't know if these are broadcasts or every, every one of my readings, I ended the same way. Remember? You don't have to be perfect, you just have to be you, right? So in everything you say and everything you do, you never have to be perfect. You just have to be you. And that's it. Just let find yourself and surround yourself with people who accept you for who you are. And people that are not afraid to tell you when you're doing things wrong, right? That's what a, a real friend will do that. And they won't worry about you being upset with them. Because if you're not trying your hardest, a real friend will say, oh, hey, you know, maybe think about that. That's what Miss Christie does. That's why, you know, I, I tease you. I tease her a lot about kicking me under the table and stuff. Well, it's just so she knows, helps me be the best version of the person that I can be at that time, right? Yeah. And if you if you find yourself, especially if you're younger and older too, and adults and children, I tell everybody the same thing. And it took a long time for me to realize this, is that if you surround yourself with people, surround yourself with people that understand you and 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 love you for you you know for who you are and don't surround yourself with people that try to change you right there's people that'll try to help you improve which means okay well here you could be a little bit better at math let's try it this way or do you want to learn to sing a little bit better or oh, i have a friend that'll help you to sing or whatever but if you're if somebody's trying to change you who you are don't hang out with those people. Ever, never, ever, ever. Nope. They can be uh, an acquaintance, right, Miss Christie? They just, they're not, don't use them as really good friends. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Because Miss Christie would never try to change, you know, who I am. Well, maybe the farting part. But, I mean, that's different. <laughs> this is a book that I've been wanting to read for a few days. And it's called, The Dockling Gets a Cookie? And it's by Mo Willems. Words and pictures. Oh my gosh. He wrote a bunch of other ones. Uh, don't let the penguin, uh, penguin, don't let the pigeon uh, drive uh, the bus. Uh, and uh, penguin, um, penguin finds a hot dog. Or ping, I keep saying penguin. Pigeon finds a hot dog. And it's because of, I can still see the penguin on this book. That's why I'm getting all distracted. Um, uh, what was the other one? The pigeon, pigeon uh, finds a hot dog. Oh, and uh, yeah, I don't remember the other one. There was another one we did. Oh, it's probably on the back. Puppy. Oh, yes. The pigeon wants a puppy. <laughs> no. I, I want... We're going to get a puppy. No. Can we have a puppy? No. Please? No. Please? No. Maybe? No. What if I said pretty please? No. Oh, she said maybe. Oh, here we go. Here we, It starts right out here. I do not like the title of this book. No, it didn't, it didn't say that. I do not like the look of the title. Same, same, uh, say, you know, apples, oranges, same pie. Uh, hello. May I uh, have a uh, cookie, please? Could I trouble you for a cookie? Is there any cookies available? May I be I could please have a cookie, please? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Can I have that cookie? Thanks. Oh, I got myself a cookie. It's a nice, delicious looking cookie here. This is awesome. You know, use your manners and you get stuff. It's nice. A cookie. I get I'm a, I'm a duckling and I got a cookie. That's awesome. That was very nice of you. Thank you so much. I will tell people you're a stand-up person and uh, that's awesome. You know, baby, right? That's really great. Oh. Wow. Look at those nuts. Uh, there's nuts in this cookie here. That's awesome. I asked for a cookie and I get a cookie with nuts. That's up. That's great. A cookie with nuts, I guess. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey, how did you get that cookie? I uh, I asked for it. Plain and simple. Just asked for the cookie. You. You asked for it. 
a politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? Is there nuts in that cookie? Oh, 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 oh there's nuts in that cookie. Oh, that's good. Nuts, you ask for a cookie? Politely. Yes. So, they gave you a cookie with nuts by just asking uh, politely. Yes. Listen, I ask for things all the time. All the time I ask for things. I am asking for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. <laughs> Do we ask for candy? I do, I do ask for candy. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know, like I just like a, even just a, a little bus for like a few people. On the, I mean, it doesn't have to be a big bus or nothing like that. And, you know, maybe, maybe a bus with some candy and a hot dogs. So I'm not saying. I ask for a French fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a, uh, I've asked for a walrus. Right now I'm asking why. Why, 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 I don't understand. I do not understand. Okay, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug. I do, I ask for a hug. Or I ask for, like, maybe one more story. And, and I can't count how many times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. Like, uh, if, hello... They're being more and more rare now. Probably get me one before the price goes up. Huh. Titanic got an iceberg. I didn't get nothing. I asked to stay up late. I am the askiest pigeon in town. But, but do, but do I get what I ask for? Do I ever get anything I'm asking for? No, no, I do not. I get nothing. No, 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 no. It's a, it's not fair. The duckling gets everything. Everything he asks for, I bet you if he asks for an iceberg, you get an iceberg. And... You know what? Pigeons like cookies too. Especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? I'm just asking you, why did I get the why did you get the cookie? Why? Uh, so I could give it to you. Okay, and another thing, I just want you to... What? An have, have a... What? A, what? You're going to give me a cookie? With nuts. With nuts. With that, with that is so nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. That is a one cool duckling. <laughs> That's good me there. Oh no, no. That is one cooler duckling. Okay, bye. Bye. So you have a good day. Enjoy your cookie with nuts there. Enjoy that. Feels good to give something to somebody, doesn't it? It's awesome. May I have another cookie, please? But, uh, with this time, with no nuts? Wap, 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 wap. <laughs> oh, Mo Willems, I do love your books. 
Woo! So much fun. I love the pigeon books. Is there what other pigeon books are there? I should see that. There's a couple more. Uh, ride the bus, find the hot dog. Oh, don't let the pigeon stay up late. We don't have. And uh, pigeon likes things to go, and pigeon has feelings too. Oh, and the pigeon wants a puppy because we're gonna get a puppy too. Stamp, stamp, no races before you say no. No. Not too late. I said before you no. say no. Uh, you're not the boss of me. No. She's not the boss of me. Yes, I am. I make the sourdough pancakes. I'm the boss of you. Mm. No. She doesn't know. I'll dress it up like a chair. <laughs> Puppet just sit there. Oh, thank you for letting me be silly with you. And uh, Miss Christy and I appreciate you tuning in. Even if it's if it's not for live, I, we really appreciate you tuning in on the YouTube channel under Tazzy Reads or on my website, Big Daddy Taz Two Zeds dot com. Thunder snow. <laughs> oh, man. She is the boss of it all. You know, you guys can have your own club. I'm going to say goodbye to Justin and Ma Maya and Layla and Spencer. Yes, and Connor and Blaze and Maylin and other Mayas and other Justins and everything out there. Jackson. Hope you have a great day. And Mr. Jackson, thank you again for lending me the books. I am taking very good care of them, and I'll be reading the Pigeon Book again and again and again. It's so much fun. So, go out and have some fun times. Remember, today is actually a school day, so make sure you do your uh, schooling. Some of you uh, will be watching this after you're doing your learning and stuff. So, do your best in all that you do. And uh, remember, just like the not-so-perfect penguin... And every, and, uh, you know, and all that you say and all that you do, you never have to be perfect. You just have to be you. So stay silly, stay safe, be brave, be you, and be kind. Because remember, it's okay to get mad. It's okay to get sad. It's okay not to be happy with the situation that you're having around you right now. But ABK, always be kind. So now go do something for your mind, do something for your body, have some silliness in your life, and Tristan, go and have yourself a great day, and Therese, have yourself a great day, and everybody, make sure you tell the people around you how much you love and appreciate them. Lots of love. Bye-bye.